8 Royal Secrets of Longevity Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, born Elizabeth Alexandra Mary on April 21, 1926, celebrated her 92nd birthday this year. However, Dr. Michael Gordon, the program director of palliative care at Bakerest Geriatric Health Care System, who trained in Scotland and met the Queen's mother, feels that nowadays, even being in your 80s is no big deal. He says that I'm a geriatrician and, in my practice, that's like adolescence. She's not 100 yet. Her mother, the Queen Mother, lived to 101, and there is a pretty good chance, barring the unexpected, that Elizabeth can get there herself. Yet, even the best genetic makeup can be destroyed by environmental factors. Researchers say that we accelerate the aging process if we smoke, drink heavily, eat poorly, don't exercise, and are overstressed. Successful aging, says Gordon, is measured both in quantity of years and quality of life, not simply breathing, but retaining enough enthusiasm and vitality to make life worth living. Below you'll find 8 Royal Secrets of Longevity. 1. Get regular medical screenings. The Queen has regular medical screenings and access to medical care that helps to keep her in good health. Preventive screenings for men and women should include measurements for cholesterol, blood pressure, and sugar. This could help to catch deadly, yet avoidable, diseases, such as diabetes, strokes, and heart attacks. 2. Get regular exercise. The Brits are big walkers and so is the royal family. They are known for their enjoyment of long walks on the grounds of Balmoral, where they stay for their summer vacations. The Queen is also known to love horses and horseback riding has excellent health benefits. After a good diet, exercise offers the most health benefits. It improves almost every measure of health we can devise, and there is a lot of evidence supporting the relationship between exercise and longevity. How much you need varies according to your medical and fitness history and current test results. However, even just 30 minutes a day, can help lower blood pressure and stress levels. 3. Stay mentally sharp live like the Queen. The Queen is still a functional head of state involved with high-level meetings that help to keep her mentally acute. She has also visited the Google headquarters in London, indicating an interest in the Internet, and she is said to email her grandchildren, too. Anything that challenges your mind staying engaged at work, strategy games, puzzles, reading, dance or music classes, and debates, will keep you mentally in shape as the years go by. 4. Maintain a constant body weight Though not exactly known for wearing revealing fashions, the Queen has never appeared overweight. Next to not smoking, staying lean is probably the most important thing we can do to stay healthy and live longer. Leanness matters because fat cells produce hormones that increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. Numerous studies have found that extra weight, especially around the stomach, cuts years off your life. 5. Eat a variety of healthy foods live like the Queen. The typical British diet, by and large, has not been a healthy one over the years thanks to the fact that it's heavy on fats and carbohydrates. But this has certainly changed. There's now a better range of fresh fruits, vegetables, and grains more typical of a Mediterranean diet available. This kind of anti-inflammatory diet has been linked with promoting longevity, and Queen Elizabeth benefited from meals prepared with fresh vegetables, game, and poultry provided by the royal estates, long before the benefits of this type of diet came to light. Fish, too, is a staple on the royal menu. 6. Drink a cup of tea and barley water. High tea, taken at 5 in the afternoon, is a British ritual enjoyed by the Queen. Tea, as we all know, has a number of health benefits, anti-cancer, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and anti-heart disease. Green tea is the most widely studied and probably the most beneficial. The Japanese have the highest average lifespan and this may be due to two factors, fish and green tea. Barley water, sometimes flavored with lemon or other fruit, is a popular British drink and a favorite in the royal household. Barley is a rich source of soluble and insoluble fiber, and barley water is said to help support the kidneys, especially during times of stress, and it might also be therapeutic for those who suffer from bladder and kidney ailments. 7. Keep a pet. The Queen has a special love for dogs, especially the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. In a study carried out at the State University of New York, Buffalo, stockbrokers with high blood pressure who adopted a pet showed a 50% decrease in blood pressure compared with those who had no pets. 
Getting a positive response from an animal may make you feel better and has an effect on the metabolic system, producing higher levels of positive hormones and improving feelings of well-being. 8. Stay connected. People who are connected to those around them, through marriage, friends, a spiritual community or other networks usually live longer than those without strong ties. The Queen is known for her rich social life. She and Prince Philip reached their 60th year of marriage in 2007, making Elizabeth the first monarch to celebrate a diamond wedding anniversary. The fact that she has been with the same person for all these years has provided a very stable relationship for her. English breakfast tea, not your typical morning tea. One of the best things about tea is that you'll never run out of flavors, blends or varieties to choose from. However, if you prefer strong black tea over the mild flavors of white and green tea, or even herbal teas, then there's one type that you may love to sip on, English breakfast tea. Despite its name, English breakfast tea is actually a delicious blend that can be enjoyed any time of the day. Not only that, but this robust beverage actually delivers a host of health benefits. Here's what you need to know about English breakfast tea, including its history, preferred brewing methods and other interesting facts. What is English breakfast tea? English breakfast tea is a classic black tea that is actually made from different blends of tea, such as Assam, Kenyan, and Ceylon, which are derived from different locales like Sri Lanka, Kenya, China, India, and Malawi. But whatever the source, these teas have one main thing in common. They're all made from the Camellia sinensis plant, the same plant where green, oolong and white teas are made from. In an interview with The Kitch, Frank Sanchez of Uptown Tea Imports, who says that the English breakfast tea started as a Chinese Congo tea, gave a short overview of how this blend came to be. The English started importing Chinese tea in the 17th century and then it really kicked into gear in the 18th century. Then, during the Opium Wars, China imposed an embargo on tea. Around the same time, the British East India Company started producing tea in Assam, India. For a while, the old stocks of Chinese tea were dwindling and the new stocks of Indian tea started coming in, and they were blended together. Jump ahead to the end of the 19th century and tea was beginning to be produced in Ceylon, now Sri Lanka. You started to have a stronger and stronger Ceylon component in English breakfast tea. You may be wondering how this blend acquired its name. Typically, breakfast teas such as these are created as an accompanying beverage to the traditional English morning meal which is hearty, rich, and often composed of foods like pork, beef and bread. It's said that the strong flavor of the beverage allowed the tea drinkers to become alert and productive in the morning. Today, however, English breakfast tea can be enjoyed any time of the day. It is full-bodied, robust and rich, with light and floral undertones. The aroma is reminiscent of vegetables or freshly cut plants. The higher the degree of fermentation of the leaves, the stronger the aroma becomes. This drink can be blended with lemon or milk, although the latter may affect the nutrition profile of the tea. Benefits of English Breakfast Tea Because it's basically a tea blend, the benefits that English breakfast tea offer are quite similar to those offered by other black teas. These include Helping eliminate free radicals and slow aging. This tea comes with natural antioxidants called flavonoids, which are said to help reduce free radicals in the body. Promotes good circulation. One study published in the journal Circulation found that people struggling with coronary artery problems had better circulation after consuming black tea for four weeks. Helping promote heart health. Aside from improving cholesterol levels, black tea may also help reduce heart attack risk. Help with weight management and optimize metabolism. A study published in the European Journal of Nutrition found that black tea may stimulate the production of good bacteria in the gut. It also uses and changes our energy metabolism in the liver via gut metabolites. English Breakfast Tea Nutrition Facts Aside from antioxidants, English breakfast tea offers nutrients like vitamin B, which is essential for red blood cell creation, as well as phosphorus and magnesium, which are crucial for strong bones. English breakfast tea caffeine content. Since it's made from black tea, it's obvious that this tea blend has caffeine. But how much caffeine is there in English breakfast tea? According to SF Gate, the amount ranges from 40 to 70 milligrams in every 8 ounce cup. This is almost half the amount that exists in a cup of coffee. Hence, 
People who are caffeine sensitive must limit or avoid drinking English breakfast tea, as it may lead to neurological changes, rapid heart rate and other issues. English breakfast tea side effects. Too much of anything is never good, and this is true even when it comes to a healthy tea like English breakfast tea. Thanks to their caffeine content, black teas, if consumed in excessive amounts, may lead to several side effects, such as diarrhea, constipation and stomach upset. People who are recovering from heart attacks or acute cardiovascular disorders are also ill-advised to drink English breakfast tea. The same goes for pregnant women and nursing moms, as the caffeine may affect their child's health. Enjoy English breakfast tea any time of the day, but moderate your intake. Just because it's labeled a breakfast tea doesn't mean you have to limit drinking it in the morning. This is actually one of the top tea products enjoyed everywhere not only for its health benefits but also its robust flavor. It will certainly wake you up, but that's most likely because of its caffeine. If you're caffeine sensitive, limit your intake of this tea or avoid it completely, don't worry, there are other tea varieties out there you can opt for.